up y'all and welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's good go ahead and smash that subscribe button because clearly you're interested in the video that we will be doing today okay so as titled you guys are going to be meal prepping with me if you guys are following me then you know i had announced that i am on a wellness prep so what's going to help hold me accountable and help me stay on track is planning my meals ahead of time so let's get to it so what we're gonna have for breakfast is the chick-fil-a inspired so it's the grilled chicken egg white sandwich if you ever had it from chick-fil-a then you know it is really really good in my opinion it is super duper bomb i bought the ingredients so this these are the ingredients we're going to be using so all you're going to need is a pack of chicken breasts and we're going to cut them in half so that it can make one chicken breast slice you're going to need thomas or any version english muffin you want but i'm using the 100 calories eight grams of fiber i'm using the light multi-grain and it has 26 grams of carbs so these are the english muffins we're going to be using ultra thin sharp cheddar each slice is 45 calories and one slice is 3.5 grams of fat three grams of protein and zero grams of carbs choice of cheese that we're going to be using you can use whatever cheese you want to use and then of course we're going to be using liquid egg whites So now that we've created our egg white chicken sandwiches, I just went ahead and wrapped them in foil. That will be our breakfast for the next four days. But, but I have to reach my macros. So alongside with these sandwiches, we're gonna have some oatmeal. But before I proceed, let me give you guys a general like gist of how much the sandwiches are roughly they're around 270 calories each with 32 grams of protein 26 grams of carbs and 7 grams of fat that is with each one for each one i try to get at least 60 grams of egg whites 100 to 105 grams of chicken breast and then the cheese is already calculated for itself also with the english muffin this is perfect for anyone that wants a high protein breakfast you can definitely opt and go for one of these but we're going to be pairing this with some oatmeal for our breakfast also so let's go add our second part of our breakfast completed our breakfast which is the chick-fil-a grilled egg white sandwich and we have overnight oats now you may have seen like different size of containers as far as like the overnight oats go is because i have three high carb days and one low carb day so you're going to see one container is a bit smaller because of that reason but let's get into lunch and dinner 
we're gonna wrap this thing up. This is gonna be very, very quick. One of my favorite things to use to make this process a little bit faster is I like to get this brand, Minute Rice. They have brown and wild rice. They have brown and quinoa. They have, they have basmati rice and they have jasmine rice, which I really love. I already used all of my jasmine rice. So this is perfect because I have two containers a day on my high carb day and I have only one on my low carb day. So let's get into it. guys so we have all of our meal prep we have our breakfast we have our lunch we have our dinner uh, there's like some mozzarella string cheese back there that's a snack and we have a snack right here for Saturday which is tomorrow and then I have my snack right there which is apple rice cakes that I'm going to put into the ziploc bag so let's do that the meals are that I have before I go. I have some overnight oats and the Chick-fil-A grilled chicken egg white sandwich. So these right here are Skippy peanut butter with apples on top, overnight oats. Then my snacks, I have a string cheese with some sliced apples. Then I have potatoes and ground beef. And then for my dinner, I have brown rice and wild brown and wild rice, arugula and grilled chicken. And then I have a rice cake whenever I have it. More than likely, my rice cake will be my snack and my apples will be my dessert. Um, Skippy peanut butter with apples, but there's a larger serving of oatmeal. And then I have ground beef, arugula, brown rice, and wild rice. Well, brown and wild rice, I don't know why I keep getting those mixed up. And salsa, string cheese for a snack. And then for here, I have ground turkey, which wasn't supposed to be on the menu, but luckily I ran out of the chicken breast and the ground beef. So luckily I had some leftover ground turkey that I had cooked and I just added it in here. So 93.7 ground turkey, 
brown and wild rice, arugula, salsa, snack is a rice cake. And like I said previously, it's gonna I'm gonna have a protein shake and apple slices. Same thing, but the next day I'm gonna have Oreo or cookie blast, chocolate cookie blast, overnight oats. But on top is Oreos. I crumbled an Oreo on top, just one Oreo cookie, the Chick-fil-A sandwich, lean ground beef, arugula, brown rice, and salsa. <laughs> and then for dinner, I'm gonna have ground turkey, brown and wild rice, arugula, salsa, rice cake, protein shake, apple slices. Next day, I have the EHP Labs Oxyway, the Ripley Raspberry Cheesecake. I have that, but I added strawberry. Coda! But I added chopped up strawberries on top, snack, string cheese. Lunch is jasmine rice, ground beef, salsa, arugula. Dinner, I have made some chicken, so grilled chicken, brown and wild rice, salsa and arugula, protein shake, apple slices, and a rice cake. For the past two weeks, this is what has been keeping me on track and what's been helping me drop in weight so far. So as long as I stay consistent with what I like and what's convenient for me, it's all good. This meal prep was to be made as simple as possible, not to be complicated. Um, I don't like complications, especially when I'm trying out something new. If there's something that I can do and I can stick to it, that's what I'm gonna do. But once again, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and most of all, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so that you never miss a video from me. And until next time, peace. Thank you.